Hello and welcome. This is a short video on how to use Substrate Blockchain Starter Kit. First, let's cover what Substrate is. It is a framework built for creating a blockchain. It is mostly known as a framework for building the Polkadot, but you can use it to make any other blockchain. The Substrate provides you with core components of the blockchain that would otherwise take months to develop. Components such as database layer, networking layer, consensus engine, transaction queue, and so on. How does Substrate work and why you should use it? As we said, it provides you with core components that have already been developed. Those components are called modules or palettes, and each of them offers specific functionality. By choosing the right palettes, you can develop a blockchain crafted to your specific needs and save time that is especially important in these decentralized ecosystems where things are moving so fast. And now our main topic. What is Substrate Blockchain Starter Kit? It is a tool that brings the simplicity of creating a blockchain to another level. By drag and dropping palettes to a code base, you can have your customized blockchain developed and deployed in less than a minute. So let's see how it works. On the left side, you see palettes and templates. And in the code base, you can see a couple of palettes that have already been added. These palettes are all part of the code template that is a mandatory part of each blockchain. Let's now add some palettes. Here you see a list of all palettes. And when you navigate to a specific one, you can see its details. Palettes overview, description, and palettes dependencies. So what are dependencies? For a specific palette to provide some functionalities, it needs other palettes to be part of the same blockchain. In this case, to add palette democracy, we have to add these three other palettes simultaneously. So let's do it. Now we can see that the palette democracy is added to the code base. Also, as it is using palette treasury, palette balances, and palette scheduler, they are also added to the code base. However, palette treasury has other palettes that it is using, such as palettes elections. And that is why it's also added to the code base. Finally, palette elections that we just mentioned is using palette collection. And that's why we need that one as well as a part of our code base. Other palettes on the left side are part of the node template that has already been here. Let's now add more palettes. Now, when we have added a palette membership, we have a blockchain that supports sending, receiving and keeping a balance of tokens and on-chain governance. To deploy this blockchain on the GitHub, we need to provide our information. Once you provide your GitHub account information, the blockchain will be deployed on the GitHub. Now let's go back to the app. We have explained how adding pallets and deploying a blockchain works. Now let's move to templates. Besides adding pallets one by one, you can add a predefined template with a set of pallets within it. For example, if you need a blockchain that will be able to keep a balance of tokens on the blockchain, support sending and receiving the tokens between the accounts, you can use predefined wallet template. So let's use it. Here you can see that the pallets that are part of the wallet template have been added to the code base. What's great is that you can continue adding new pallets into the code base and once you are finished, you can deploy it to the GitHub the same way we did it previously. And that's all. We hope you find this tutorial useful. 
If you have any questions, be free to post them in the comments or email us at substrate at mvpworkshop.co. Thanks for watching and now go straight to the www.substratestarterkit.mvpworkshop.co and create your first blockchain.